Hey everybody, today we're at 17 South Grape Tree, right on the water. This is a beautiful one acre piece of property with a leftover Hugo slab. Hurricane Hugo destroyed the house, but the slab and cistern and pool are still in place. This might be a good opportunity to build a new house in an awesome location. Let's go check it out. Okay, here's the road in, and then you take a right down. You can see it's actually a paved driveway that could be repaired. And then if you continue, the hiking trails of the Grape Tree, Isaacs Bay, Jack's Bay are right around the corner there. So you can literally walk to these trails. Miles of hiking trails here. So this would be coming in in your car. You can see the driveways, you know, in tough shape, but this could all be patched, resealed. A lot of it just has debris and uh, bush growing on it. You can see there were some light fixtures that ran down this left side. So if the conduit's good, you could pull some new wires through there and get those going. But here we are coming down. You'd come in, you'd park right there on the right or to the left, and then dead ahead is the slab. All right, let's go a little closer to it. Okay, now we're down right next to the slab. If you came in and took a left, you've got additional parking here. You do have a stone retaining wall that's there, so you can see that was additional parking. And then if you came in and took a right, there appears to be what looks like to me a carport or garage maybe here. This is a concrete slab. It looks like a one and a half car garage width. The reason I think that is because there's a Danish brick walkway that comes off of here. You see this? Underneath all this rubble and debris is Danish brick. That could all be re, you know, reclaimed and it wraps around this Danish brick planter all the way around this way and assumably it went into the house. Now that would have likely been the front door right there into like a big entry foyer and then into the house itself. But don't have any historical pictures of the property so I really don't know what was here before exactly. But you can see additional Danish brick here. See this? And it goes all the way around this area. I think there was a back entrance here. Like if you came in on your car, you'd come in through here. And then your formal entrance was right there. But notice the cistern cover is right here. Easily accessible. So you should have a contractor come take a look at this. He can open this up. Take a look at this cistern, which is in this area. And see if it's structurally sound. If so, you're good to go. You could use it. If not, you might have to make some repairs, but in any case, you've got a head start because you do have that already in place. Pools off to the left there, looking back up at the driveway. And then there's the neighbor that was just rebuilt completely. Beautiful home. And then of course, there's gonna be an awesome view, which we'll go check out by the pool. All right, let's go down this way and check out the pool. And now we're down at pool level three steps down from the house to the pool. But it looks structurally good from a glance. You got steps going in here, you even got the hand handlebar there still. And all the patio surrounding looks stable. I'm not seeing any cracking or anything in it. You got your skimmer here. There used to be some sort of railing along this wall here. But check out these vintage tiles. These represent the seven nations that once ruled the Virgin Islands. They're really cool vintage tiles. I think I would keep those for sure. Pretty unique. Probably just leave them right where they are, but check out the view from the pool and the house. Incredible. Looking down the shore to the newly reopened Grape Tree Bay Hotel right there. So you could walk down there for dinner or cocktails. Take a little snorkel offshore. Beautiful day. There was a guy surfing right about there a few minutes ago. He just went in. And then there's the neighboring home that's just been completed. Looking back at the slab and the pool. At a glance, it looks good. Should obviously have a contractor check it out, but great setup, great opportunity to rebuild what you want here. I think this was a two bedroom. When I looked at it a little closer, I think it would be the bedroom and a bath here, same on the other end, then living in the middle. And then this was an outdoor covered patio with sliders out to this outdoor patio. And I actually popped the cistern here. I'll show you the cistern inside. Got the cover open here. Let me pull that up. We'll take a look in here. You can see it's got like a six inch slab right here. Looks pretty good. And then I want to drop the camera down in and see what we see. You're seeing it before me. It's got water in it. That's a good sign. So it's not leaking, at least to that level. So that's it. Hurricane Hugo slab waiting for somebody to come along and take over this beautiful opportunity to build a gorgeous home 
right here in South Grape Tree on St. Croix's East End. If you guys want to check it out, give us a call. Love to show it to you. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful Virgin Islands Day. Bye-bye.